Hey guys, Albi here. I'm gonna bring you an episode that's a little unique, and only because um, it's been a, it's been a while since uh, uh, StarCraft uh, Remastered's come out. So I decided, hey, I want to try playing um, a little bit a little bit of uh, Legacy of the Void. I haven't played it in a very long time. So because I haven't played in a very long time, what other way do you play it other than playing it? in big hunter maps or 4v4 or something like that so you know people can carry you it's been so long since i played i wasn't sure if even my mechanics were any anywhere near the same of what it uh used to be so uh i just started up and in this match itself uh, i decided to play a bit and just go around and the only build i really know i always play better. the only build i really know is uh what's it called uh Jesus. <laughs> and that's all I can really remember. So, as you can see, when we kind of look at uh, APM uh, over here, this is supposed to show you indicator of skill. You can clearly tell we have uh, Red over here dominating uh, all over the place. Uh, this guy right here. So, my team, just so you guys can get to know really quickly, this is uh, Iniesta. Is just some guy over here just doing his own thing in Protoss Slice. I'm I'm random. Uh, and you, you got me right here in the middle, and I'm sharing a base technically with this Zerg over here, Nate. Uh, our opponents are a Protoss, a Zerg, Zerg Soup Yum, so clearly he's going for Nate. Uh, like I said, we have uh, Paza over here, uh, he is in the red, and he's sharing his base with uh, Derby. So opening uh, is pretty standard for uh, Zerg over here, uh, you got what he's doing, I guess I'll just go to the production production tab so you guys can see what's going on uh i'm over here just immediately getting my gas as quickly as possible so i'm just trying to turn out and like i said my plan is dt that's what i'm going for over here we got a little bit of cheese from zerg soup yum he's actually coming with a uh, cannon rush directly to iniesta who has a chance to defend it i feel but because he put his stuff far forward in the front here he's gonna lose everything so quickly before he can actually react to these cannons so he's gotta kill this before it gets big, but these are already coming, and it's already a little too late for him. He's gotta fully commit though, don't back down, don't back down, don't back down, don't back down, don't back down. Look at he's got a couple of them not even attacking. And it's not enough. He lost all of it. And he's going in again and uh, he's gotta stop the cannon over here. So personally I I feel like he needed to kill this thing. But really, all he has to do is just maintain and watch where this probe is. Because all he has to do is deal with the probe, so he doesn't need to do more stuff. He actually had the probe up here, so he could have gotten us around, or he just blocked him in up here. But now it's too late, he's already lost too much stuff. And, uh, he is not helping anybody out. Even when he leaves, when you're playing a uh, 3v3 match like this is, um, when you leave, resources go to your ally. Only person I have here is this guy over here, just making his own stuff. Uh, I put a pile on him here, because that's where I'm going to put my DTs. And I don't didn't remember that apparently when your pylon this is the thing in Legacy of the Void if your pylon is too far away from your base your warp in time is ridiculously long. So <laughs> over here, uh, yes, um, Piazza is just doing the usual like we got ahead, going to expand, and then over here we have uh, Derpy. He's well, he's so far behind. What is he doing? I don't know what he's going for, but he decided to expand as well. So both of them decided to double expand. I'm over here, and I've been abandoned. And this is the moment I'm gonna pause right here. This is the moment that happened. That shit hit the fan so hard. <laughs> My teammates, Iniesta and Nate, lost complete faith, and they have abandoned ship. They are gone. Uh. Zerg Yum, uh, Soup Yum decided to leave, and all resources, I'm going to show it to you right now, income has fallen into my lap, purple right here. So, immediately, upon seeing that, uh, I just, I, I'm assuming it's done. So I'm going to go back to the production, but that's not where it ends. I'm not a quitter. Guys, we know where I'm not a quitter, despite when everything falls to shit, I don't quit. Uh, so I'm still going with my Dark Shine. I'm just taking a little bit slower. I know it, um, Zerg Soup Yum is still over here, and we got a little bit of mining going on. And I'm just like, I guess that's that. 
that's the line I guess that's that and everyone's kind of just standing still waiting for me to quit I think but screw that shit remember I told you I'm not a quitter so I spam the pylon look at this bank that's coming in because of everyone so I'm over here just kind of minding my own business I'm like I'm figuring they're gonna just keep going with whatever they're doing over here Nate's got a couple of links which I'm like uh, and yes, it's still kind of giving me the income, but mine, mine is rising, but look at my supply. I haven't made anything yet. Uh, I'm just massing out gates. I'm figuring there's going to be a big push coming from uh, Derpy and Pizza, uh, Paza. Sorry, They're the ones that I'm, I'm really wanting to con uh, protect myself against. Over here, I know like uh, Zerg Supi, I'm just going to have a whole bunch of cannons. And he's locking himself in thinking he's gonna get attacked, but I've just I have no need to attack him. I just need to make sure I have enough to defend. So over here we got a couple of those lanes kinda of just doing their own thing and defending a little bit that's left over by Yanda. Meanwhile in camp Camp Albi, look at these gates just lighting up and I'm going for the robo uh, facility. And then I started realizing, you know what, we need we need a bit of Zerg stuff. Uh I think in just a bit, I, I decided to keep going. So my bank is still pretty high, everything's still pretty up, uh, and I decided to start making my first round of stalkers to kind of keep going, open up all these gates, warp gates, and then over here, secretly, I actually, I didn't even realize I told you, I, I, my DTs, I stole my DTs. I dropped some DTs in the base, I put three only. Uh, those three are going and wreaking havoc every which way. They just lost all their pros. If we go to their income, it is stagnant despite having a lot of supply. Um, Teal is the only one that's still kind of going. Red Suit, uh, Yum, sorry, uh, Zerg is Yum, still going on. My, uh, my, I decided to make my, uh, <laughs> even Teal sucks me well. Total idiot. They completely get wrecked by these. In that process, I'm just focusing on the pylons. I'm trying to make sure they don't have much supply to work with. There is a little bit of uh, comfort for both of them right here in their secondary base. Uh, and I completely forgot about moving around. If I if I was smart, I would have just put them over here, and it would have started doing more and more damage. But instead, I just left them over here to make sure they couldn't get their stuff. I'm trying to get rid of these bases. They can't take anything. And in the meantime, I'm over here just massing up, massing up my little bit of an army. Uh, Zerg Supium is over here just kind of doing his own thing. He's expanding. He's getting up uh, the air that he needs. Um, and yeah, so Robox, uh, Robo Facility is coming up completely for uh, Red. He's trying to get vision. And I sent in uh, a few more. I think I sent in around uh, somewhere. No, yeah, he's in here. So uh, Paz is completely bankrupt. Uh, he has enough, but he doesn't have. <laughs> He has enough to make cannons, but he doesn't have enough gas to make his observer. Time to report Pussy Red. Guys, <laughs> there's six is pissed off, but he's, he's being attacked by his own. <laughs> this is where shit gets crazy. Ah, and then over here, Teal, I don't know what to do, but Teal is actually cannoned up himself. He's got his one tank, and I'm actually a little nervous. I thought that he had a bigger army than he did. So I kind of just pulled back. I don't know what's going on. I didn't know red was actually killing blue. So over here, I have Paza deciding to join Camp Albi. And then uh, I guess he's coming back, and he wants his base uh, going again. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, look, he's got a base coming up here. I didn't know this in the game I just well you know what I don't know what's happening I'm just gonna pull back and defend because he's got some I thought he had way more stuff than he did and if we look at him he, he doesn't got much of anything he is just walking around with these things um, he's got a what's it called a, a marauders kind of going in he's got a couple of marines I think he has the one tank but I don't know where it went Right over here decided to uh, expand with the bit of income he had left and that he's getting from blue. While somebody is working away at blue st Oh, it's red! Red's controlling blue! He's, he's making he's making him work. Um, which is whatever he does for blue now is actually getting split between red and teal. So as much as he wants to use blue's units, it 
it's not gonna work out because it's always gonna be uh, cut in half, uh, whatever he makes. So I'm just chilling over here. Red's kind of going in, he doesn't know what's up. In the process, well, obviously, I got uh, Zergling Charge. And if you look closely, I'm getting some Thermal Lance because you know what is good for te Protoss? Colossus. Col Colossus is amazing. So. I do that, I start working it up. If you actually notice, once in a while in the little production tab, you'll see some uh, uh, drones being made from the Zerg. He's not in here, it's me. I'm actually just deciding, well, if he's going to have all of these uh, units, why not use them to my benefit? So I'm just starting to get him to get minerals for me, I'm trying to get him to get gas for me. At the same time, I've only been on one base, my minerals are going down, I need to expand soon. So. Uh, I got this little thing going up for myself, okay. and then right over here is kind of still expanding on his own. He's actually gone back to his base, so he's he's back alive, and Teal's back alive, and he's expanding. So they're trying to get their uh, army going, but I don't even see units. I don't know what is going on. Here's he's going like battle cruisers. What is happening with Teal? What is going on? Why is he going battle cruisers? That's such a late game thing, you know. I already have a mini army. And if we go to our army, uh, armed forces, supply-wise, I am double. I'm, I'm pretty much doubling, tripling, quadrupling uh, all the other teammates over here. Uh, but when you add them all together, they're technically, if they rolled up in a ball, they do have the same supply as me. What the difference is coming down to is uh, upgrades. I only have uh, Charge and Blink, uh, and I'm, I've gotten Thermal Lance with uh, my Colossus, and then this is probably my weakest moment. Uh, they don't move out though, they haven't done anything, but this is my weakest moment is that I'm actually pulling back here to take out these ones, because I know I can defend the front, and I can probably get these expands, but if I expand this way, it's just going to be a lot harder. Not to mention, it's just safe, safe for bets to be back there. I'm going to eventually push forward this way. I'm a little worried that they might do drops, but uh, clearly, as we can see, when we go back to uh, units, uh, where units over here, what are they working with? I got a lot of stalkers from red. Voids are being made one by one, I think. Uh, oh no, three by three, but he can't afford three. That's, that's what he's got to realize. He can't afford three. Um, look at his income. He's got very little gas, high in minerals. He should be making zealots, just kind of going. He shouldn't get zealot speed uh, or zealot legs. That way would help him out. Um, and then look at Teal. <laughs> he's got ravens in, but he's made uh, progress for Yamato. So again, let's go back to production. Uh, I'm just kind of pandering over here. I expand, and obviously double max is kind of going down because obviously need more income. If we look at it, gas is what we're banking on, but we want we want minerals. So I just keep expanding that way. Uh, it becomes one of those stalemate moments where here he is kind of banking up, here he is. They have this whole upper top of the map uh, to themselves. Because I don't want to I don't want to just drop stuff that way. And I don't want to go up knowing that they're right here. So my goal is if I can crush this army I'm gonna crush this army. That's, that's just the game plan. So once again, here we are with the upgrades. Uh, I'm the only one I think with any upgrade. No, he's got combat shields. So I come down here, and this is a lucky moment. I noticed the seal is actually all alone in the bottom here. Red is just kind of like I don't know where Red is looking, but Red is just right there, and Teal's just trying on the rush. I'm picking off with double legs, I'm picking off whatever I can, I finally just get my a plus one uh, attack and plus one shield, so now I'm just kind of rolling in, and I'm just taking out whatever I can. What was the point of having uh, these ravens? I don't focus on having these anymore, uh, there's no need for me to have that, so I just take out shields, little income here, these little uh, zealots, they're all 1-1-1, one, one, one. <laughs> we just completed our shields as well. Here's his first, I was like, when I first saw this, I was like, what? So I, immediately what I did was, uh, as soon as I was pushing up there, I just started spending my gas, and I got a whole bunch of voids. 
uh, uh, sorry, starport. That way, because I know I'm gonna, I'm gonna get void. So again, I'm warping a couple of DTs now because the Ravens are gone. And they probably don't have any kind of detection going on. DTs are running rampant. Nobody can stop them. Uh, and then I just keep pushing forward. If we go back to the army, where is it? Uh, you just lost. You can see Teal just lost the most. So like, if we go to the army, where is it? Our forces. Supply-wise, I'm still, I'm going up. I'm getting closer and closer to supply, uh, to supply limit. And I just ask him, is this GG, guys? Are you done? Or are you staying around? I think the only person that's still here is Red. I thought Red was gone. But the only person we can see is Red. So I'm gonna try to see if I can get a, get a vision of what he's doing. No. It's Teal. Did Teal leave? Teal! Teal's still here! I thought I thought oh, it was Red that was here, but Red right left! So, you can clearly see where the people left. They were looking at the army that was coming in. He was looking at what he was being attacked and gave up. And then Blue is just, uh, just Teal is just doing whatever he can. So we're back over here. Go to everyone camp. He's trying to hide bases, I guess to prolong whatever he can. I don't know what his game plan is. When we look at his income, he's got tons of bank, but he's not making anything as far as I can tell. Oh, shoot, he's making it right here. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, I remember now. He's trying to get his supply up. And he's got, what did, what did he say? He saved his SCV. That is ingenious. Whatever he's doing, look at what's coming pretty soon go back to the production tab and again I haven't played in a very long time so as you can see the units that I'm using are very standard Protoss units. I use the Colossus that is there. I use uh, Sentries because I had a lot of gas in the beginning and I figured I needed to make as many units as possible even if they only have tickle beams. Uh, I grabbed some stalkers because that's what you do and then I threw in I think like maybe one or two um, mortals because I didn't have my robotics facility up uh, to what's it called uh, pump out uh, Colossus yet so I stopped production completely on that I'm I'm treating this like a full-on like they're ahead of me game because again I'm getting weapon upgrades as I can and if we look at our uh, upgrade list we're at 2 to 1 with uh, our units shields is gonna definitely help our what's it called uh, voice as well uh, but in that process, I just come on up here. I know I have to start dealing with it. I thought they were over here, so my game plan is as soon as I went up, I saw this, I'm going up and to the left. Uh, Teal over here is still kind of like on the run, and he's just trying to move things around. He's got some SCVs going, and he's gone up here. Here come the voids, though. Here come the skill rays. <laughs> Just coming in, I'm leaving Blue for last because I know he's likely to have something, but all I'm trying to do is gain map control. Uh, I didn't, again, I, I wasn't paying attention to who was it that was still left. I assumed it was, it was, uh, Blue because I didn't realize when he used the abandoned ship. In that process, I just take out Teal so the fan is coming, coming down here. And the only one that's left is Blue. And I thought, well, he's got something, but I got a death ball march just kind of coming by. Again, my supply is pretty much capped. Uh, I have two, room for two. I don't even know what I'm going to make. And then I, I expand with yellow <laughs> because I know I need more. I Again, I'm always constantly thinking I got more gas because I know I have a shit ton of uh, minerals now. But I'm just getting more gas. And then that's it. GG. Derby decides to leave as a, my mar death and ball march comes across. It was a chaotic game. I don't know uh, if I'm going to keep playing this very much, uh, this much, but uh, it was pretty fun. I might play more StarCraft as it kind of go on, but I guess I'm not as bad at StarCraft as I thought I was, but I'm pretty decent at taking advantage of the fact that everyone gives me their income. As you can see, my supply is ridiculously high. If we look at 
Teal, sorry, if we look at Teal, his his income is just stagnant at the top. But there is no more minerals coming around uh, in his uh, main base. His expand is going down uh, for where blue was. And it was just kind of tragic that red would do something so douchey as attack his own teammate. Solely because he managed to actually kill one. And then they get wrecked by DTs, both of them. So it was just it was kind of a sad moment. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, this is probably going to be the one and the only time I'm ever going to play a little bit of uh, StarCraft or even kind of talk about it. But let me know uh, what you guys think. If you want more of this, uh, I might. But for now, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to. Alright, well thanks for watching guys.